Today, we are going to be exploring the Cartoon Network Hotel located in the heart of Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. The hotel sits directly next door to Dutch Wonderland and is also driving distance to many popular Lancaster and Amish country attractions. We had the best time getting to visit the hotel. It is adorable, so great for families, and a huge shout out to the staff. They actually gave us the opportunity to tour one of the suites here at the hotel. The suite was so well themed, so stay to the end of the video if you want to check out that. So with that, we're going to dive right into the video. Let's go explore the Cartoon Network Hotel. Today we are checking out, this is the Cartoon Network Hotel, which is located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And this is crazy because I literally grew up like 20 minutes away from this place. Now, mind you, this wasn't here all of my life. This just opened a couple years ago. I'll flash up on the screen when this place debuted. But I, all the time that I lived here, never came to check this out. And that is about to change right now. So the cool thing is that right down here, this is Dutch Wonderland, which is a theme park here in Lancaster. I'm gonna just pan over, just right from there is Dutch Wonderland, and here is the Cartoon Network Hotel. So it's literally walking distance. I'm gonna be entirely honest, I didn't grow up watching the Cartoon Network at all. So I had to bring a friend You're who- You're more of a Disney person. I was a full on Disney person. I was Disney, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. You had a good mix of them all. So you can appreciate the different characters and everything in here. I teach you what everything is. Like right there is a C and an N. I don't know if you know much about like alphabet, but- Let me take a wild guess. Does it stand for Cartoon Network? I actually don't know what it stands for. <laughs> okay, let's go check it out. I can at least appreciate the hotel so like, in and of itself. Rick and Morty, Adventure Time, Powerpuff Girls. All things I Bravo. had no, I was like, give me the Disney Channel, that's it. Ed, Ed and Eddie, Magic nope. is real here. Let's see. Oh, well, this is really cool. Look at this. I like the staircases. They have a gift shop right as you come in. This is really neat. A lot of hotels will have where you can get different brochures. This is actually a touch screen. You can explore different local attractions. That was the mini golf course I went to so much growing up, this Lost Treasure mini golf. Let's see what else they have, fun adventures. I'm sure they have something about Dutch Wonderland. Sight and Sound Theater, this is an amazing Christian theater. If you ever have the chance to go, go. It's so, so amazing. Kitchen Kettle town of intercourse we were just there the other day it's really cool they have an arcade over there and then they have like a restaurant bar oh really there's even a restaurant and bar in here i didn't know that here's the gift shop it's like pretty cool who was your favorite character on the cartoon network johnny bravo was hilarious and I have no idea who any of these people are. <laughs> I've like heard of it, but I was just never into it. I, like I was like not the person to do this video, I mean, but well, I... <laughs> Disney and Nickelodeon, I think, are superior for sure. Yes. But Cartoon Network Thank has you. some cool stuff. Dexter's Laboratory. Uh huh. Laboratory. Laboratory. You never heard of. <laughs> this is like, that's why I had to bring you to host this video. Yeah. Uh huh. Adventure Time. Here's a cup. I do these like are these all nice their, rubbery like, ones. Apparel, like I think it's actually pretty stylish. Pretty cool. And you can get Dippin' Dots. That's great. I can remember in my childhood seeing like other girls always wore Powerpuff Girl right. stuff. That that was the thing, definitely from my era. Yeah. I just didn't mesh with it. Yeah, right. but you know, I never watched it, but it seemed cool. Yeah, these little things. The Barista Cafe, coffee, food, and spirits right in here. Oh, it's a full on bar. That's cool. They have cornhole. We were just playing cornhole last night. Which one should I go for? The middle one? Oh, of course, the top one. The top one? Yeah, go for the top one. <gasps> nice. <laughs> I needed you on my team last night. Uh, the top one as well. The top one? Yes, the top one as well, yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. <laughs> let's cut, cut the cut. We bear bears. 
Interesting. I'm now the videographer. And when you would like to book your next vacation, go ahead and contact my friends at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They focus on Orlando-based travel, but the Beyond part of that name does mean they book travel to other destinations as well, so they could absolutely put you at a spot like this anywhere that you want to travel in the country. You can get a free quote anytime at 407vacations.com. That's cool, they have like original sketches. Yeah, that's cool. Like a rush shop, a Hi. So they close at eight. So they just closed. However, they are letting us walk around real quick. This is pretty cool. The theming and everything is really nice. Oh, they got like different themed booths. I don't know what this is themed after. Oh, right here, look at this wall. You should get a picture in front of this wall. You've never seen the Powerpuff Girls, but... <laughs> this is like such a cool wall. Wow. You want to get an Instagram picture or a thumbnail or something for you? Thank you, you're on top of it. This is a sick wall. Follow Meg's Instagram, Magical Meg. I'm the photographer. Do you want one? I want to come back here and eat. I like this type Oh, yeah. Right here, this is cool. I noticed it's like the elevator too. They have these animations going. It looks like, <laughs> looks like you got little characters in the kitchen. Yeah, the, the character. It looks like the characters are like making the food in the kitchen. Thank you so much. Of course. Have a good one. Yeah. And we'll be back open at eight a.m. tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Right over here is the arcade. Not ready yet. Kids have a spot here, and then this is the arcade. Maybe they have a duck machine. We always want to make a duck or a duck for your car. I won. Oh, they do have ducks. I have a duck collection for my Jeep. This place is pretty cool, huh? Wow. Oh, here we go. Ben 10. They got all these walls for shows. I actually didn't watch a lot of these shows. I never watched Ben 10 or anything. Yeah. You and I both were more into Disney and Nick, Nickelodeon, but I, I did watch some Cartoon Network. Still appreciate it. Yeah. Like it's theming wise, it's so fun. That's cool. They have little holograms on the elevator. Oh, he's closing the elevator. He's gonna go up there. It's like original sketches for the shows. Adventure Time, and I do, I do have to admit, apparently Adventure Time is an amazing Cartoon Network show. I've actually never seen it. I need I need to see it. I was giving you a hard time for not seeing it. Either. Right, you haven't seen it. Here's my favorite, the Powerpuff Girls. Is it Powerpuff or Powderpuff? Powerpuff. Powerpuff, okay. So. Um, Scott's that beautiful PA weather. I guess there's like an easier way to get to the pool area, but we kind of went through a side door, so we're kind of like, <laughs> We're, taking the We're taking the scenic route, but you can see there's Dutch Wonderland. You can actually see the coasters like right there. There's also a campsite for Dutch Wonderland that you'd access right through here. We actually were planning to go to Dutch Wonderland actually today when we're filming this video, but unfortunately it rained the majority of the day today. So we're gonna save that for another trip. Gives me another reason to come back up here to PA and get to go experience that. But we will definitely, this trip we got to hit Hershey Park. So windy. This trip we got to hit Hershey Park, but next time we're definitely going to do Dutch Wonderland. That has to happen. All right guys, breaking news update. Uh, you actually can't get over to the pool area from this way because it's like gated off. And we're like kind of in like the backstage area, employees only. So this is just like the little dramatic thing that happens today. And Kyle told me he was the expert on this hotel. I've been here once. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but like, yeah, true. I definitely, it, I, it, I took a 50-50 shot. It was one way or the other. I chose one way, ended up being the other. But uh, yeah, I wonder what is down here. It's, uh, they're doing construction on the downstairs. But yeah, we got to see Dutch Wonderland, which is nice, but now we're gonna walk over the other way and then we're gonna go show you guys the pool area, the outside pool area. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Are you filming that? Looks like I won. There's a bird, there's two birds. But right now we're gonna go the other way. So all these like colored doors right here are all 
rooms that you can be in. And I don't know if there's maybe rooms inside the main tower or if this is just the lobby, but right here are all the different various out rooms. We're gonna see if maybe we can even tour one. Right now we're gonna go check out the pool. Ooh, and nobody's at the pool. We have the whole thing to ourselves. So I am a lifeguard at Disney. <gasps> you are a lifeguard at Disney. I don't know what, how I'm gonna correlate to that to his. <laughs> I love the string lights. Look at this. This is really cool. Looks like they have a land of Puel. Is that a reference from Cartoon Network? I'm sure it is. Concession stand that's right here. Yeah, outdoor pool and like a water slide. And they also have an indoor pool. Really? There's an indoor pool, which is good because Pennsylvania is typically colder. So there's an indoor pool. That's good to know. So no matter what time of year you're coming here, you can enjoy. There's a hot tub, outdoor pool, indoor pool, and a kid's splash pad over here. Oh look, they have a ton of like yard recreation games. Looks like they have chairs out for maybe they do a movie under the stars. You have a laundry room as well. This is so cute. It's very quiet back in here. Here's the pool. Looks like they don't have lifeguards. They don't have lifeguards at the moment. I get paid to be a lifeguard at Disney, but I could just be a lifeguard here for free. You could do that. That'd be like community service and a pool. Let's go check out the indoor pool down here. All right, ready? Ah. All right, hold on, take two. All right, ready? have your hotel rooms out here and you can also be walking distance to the Golden Corral. Uh, they have a lot of restaurants all on this main strip so you have lots of options for dining. Of yeah. Right coffee there. Company, my favorite. That if you want to support Co. a local joint, right go to here? Coffee Co. Yes. Guys, if you're in the area here on vacation and you're looking for a good place to eat, try Coffee Co. We're they have the best sandwiches. She took me there the other day. Never been there before. Super delicious. Yes. So Meg asked if we could see inside of a room and they very graciously said yes. So they just gave us a key to go see your room just so we can show you guys. So how nice was that? Oh, this is the door to the room, but no, you have no. your little like, hallway, yeah. yeah. Right here. Okay. So we get to show you guys a suite. <laughs> So this is one of these suites. She said we can also maybe check out the standard room, but they do have suites here. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go check it out. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> it's the sweet life. Sweet life of Kyle and Ben. Wish somebody was just in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Look at the nice, nice little table. chandelier. Got a little drop space. TV beautiful couch. That looks so comfy too. Looks like the, there's like bunk beds over there. Yeah, I wonder how many this sleeps. Like, I wonder if this is a pool out. And then, oh, I wonder if you actually have four bunk beds in here. So if you have like kids. And they all have TVs oh, too. Does each one, it's yeah. every individual one. So the kids don't even have to fight over what they're watching. <laughs> right. <laughs> each kid gets their own bed and their own flat screen. Hopefully they all have <laughs> like, luxury. hopefully they all have like Air, AirPods or earphones right, yeah. too, or else a lot of noise coming from this room. I love this as a kid. This is so fun. Just like this is awesome. Guys, this is so cool. This is the Ben 10 room, and they have other themed suites as well. But this right here is the Ben 10, which admittedly I've never seen. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Is that a character? I think it's a TV show, Ben 10. I think he's like a spy or something. I 
This right here is the main bedroom. This is so cool. And then here is the main bathroom. This is so cool and it was really nice of them to let us walk around and just explore. Very cool. This is the view out of the main bedroom. That over there is my Jeep. So this is incredible. So this is the main, you come in, there's a living space here. Oh Kyle, did you see there's a beanbag chair? I did see that. How fun is that? Look how big the TV is. What size TV do you think that is? Oh, that? That's, That's a 75 inch. That is massive. Okay, let's go in. We're gonna see the master bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. So you have two beds in here. They look like queens, two queen size beds. I love the sketching on the wall and then how it comes to life with the colored print in the middle there. This is very nice. Very comfortable bed. You also have TV in here. Everybody gets a TV. Another nice big flat screen on the wall. All your storage down here. There's just so much space. I love how if you were staying with a big family, it's like if you, even if you want to drop suitcases on the floor, it wouldn't feel like you're tripping over things, you know? Like there's so much space in here. You truly oh, wow. get space in this, in this suite. I want to see how much it costs to stay in the suite. Yes. And I want to know like what the themes are for the other suites. For the other suites, yes. Is each one like a different show? And then in here, here's the bathroom. Did you come in the bathroom, Kyle? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love the tile. You have all the cubby storage down underneath. Right here's the, here you got the mirror up top here. They give you shampoo and conditioner, Oasis soap bar right there. I know if I was a kid, I would absolutely love sleeping here. Here's my car. Also, off of the main living space, there is a powder room as well. So that's nice. You can have somebody get ready in here in the morning. Go. Oh, and it's not just powder room. I correct myself. It is a full on shower as well. So that makes it even easier getting ready in the morning or if you come back from the park during the day, everyone needs to get ready for the evening or get ready for bed. Sure. It's so nice. So oh, these yeah, are the different suites. This right here is the Ben 10 suite, but they also have a Steven Universe, Powerpuff Girls, and Adventure Time. So uh, I would love to see these two, Adventure Time and Powerpuff Girls. So cool. So these are in the main tower, and then like we also showed, there's these outbuildings here that have a bunch of the standard rooms. Mm -hmm. well, That's that so cool. Nice yes, yeah, so nice of them. Oh yeah, the kitchenette here. Here's the kitchenette. You have the table right here. Kitchenette with a coffee maker. Little sink here, little bar area, microwave as well. There's a mini fridge down here as well. So that's really convenient. Okay. There it is. Now we can get out. Oh my gosh. Something I think would be cool is if they made this into an outdoor balcony area. Like they could maybe serve some food out here, just have a nice little hangout spot that overlooks Dutch Wonderland over there. That would be cool to overlook the park. Yeah. Like, yeah put a little bar up here, a restaurant. Maybe they could renovate it or something. Because I know that they're renovating the basement to add some cool things. But if they could renovate this area out here, make a little door, and you can have, like just a hangout, hangout eating spot that overlooks Dutch Wonderland, that'd be so cool. Okay, so that wraps it up from here at the Cartoon Network Hotel. I'm so happy that we were able to come. I, I Like I said, grew up like literally less than 20 minutes away from here and had never come over here to check this out. And it was so nice. Like I would love to come back here and actually stay yeah. a night. That would be awesome and give a proper review of our experience getting to be here. But seriously, if you're in the area, this is a great spot. I think especially for kids, like there's so many fun interactive, like in the lobby, there was that little seating area and activities. 
different things like that. The pool was really cool. In fact, they have an indoor pool. That's a big perk. You don't usually see that in a lot of hotels in this area. And you can also go to Dutch Wonderland. <laughs> and then you and there's a bunch of like cool touristy things here. Yeah. I grew up about like 30 minutes away and I drove by here one time and I I just explored this on my own. And I, I was always like, I, w I want to come back here and make a, a video yeah. And uh, now we're finally back here, but we're making a video for, on your channel, yeah. which is cool. It's uh, get to kind of showcase how kind of neat this is, you know? But I definitely want to come back again and yeah. like get to see everything more properly. But yeah. yeah, thank you. The staff was amazing. They let us go in and film that suite, which was really cool. And I love that. Like, I think if you had a big family too, there was a lot of space. It's awesome. So come check this out. And yeah, with that, make today magical. We'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.